Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about a one more concept in automata theory that is pumping lemma. So what is the use of this pumping lemma? And this pumping lemma is mainly used to prove that the given language is a not a regular language. Right? So used to prove that a language is not regular. So this is very important. This concept is mainly used to prove that the language is not a regular. So we know that this language, a language is nothing but a collection of the strings. It's a collection of strings. Right? And strings is nothing but symbols, collection of symbols. Symbols over the alphabet, right? So now we we have to use this uh, pumping lemma to prove that language is not a regular. Now we'll see the procedure. How can we do that? So the main uh, thing is here: if if the substring substring of a string is repeated. Many times, and if the resultant string is also available in language L, then we can say it as regular. So we know that the language will be having a different strings, right? So if you consider any string and if the substring of that particular string is a repeated number of times and the resultant string is also available in the language, then we can say it as a regular. So this is the pumping lemma. And repeating the string, that means repeating the substring, this is called Pumping, pumping, and lemma means that is nothing but a substring, right? So if you consider any substring, that must be repeated many times so that the resultant string should be also in language L. So we'll prove that. Okay. So before going to this one, it should satisfy the three constraints, right? So first one, the steps required are in order to prove that languages are not regular. The first step is consider consider language as a regular. So first we need to consider that language as a regular and we need to prove the contradiction. And the second one, and the second point, so assume a constant C, a constant C and select the string W such that mod W must be greater than or equal to C. So we need to consider some constant C, C as a constant and select the string W from the language. Okay, select the string W from L, that means from language such that uh, the length of the string should be greater than or equal to particular C. And the next one, after selecting this W, so divide the W as X, Y, Z. That means the three strings. So we need to divide the W, that means complete string, as three substrings. Such that mod Y should be greater than 0. Mod x, y should be less than or equal to constant c and the third constant is for i greater than or equal to 1 every string every string of the form x, y power i, z must be belongs to 
L. L means language. Right? So here we are just repeating the substring Y multiple times. So that's what we have done. So I greater than or equal to every string of X, Y power I, Z should belongs to L. Then we can say that the grammar is a regular. If any one of the constraint is violated, automatically we can say that language is not regular. So automatically we can divide the string into X, Y, Z by satisfying these two conditions. And if this condition is also satisfied, then only we can say the grammar is a, sorry, the uh, language is a regular language. And if this point uh, is not satisfied, automatically we have to prove that, I mean, we can say that the language is not regular. So we can take one example and we'll uh, sort out, right? So just remember this one. First, consider the language as a regular and write down the language first. And assume a constant C and select the string W from L such that length of the string should be greater than or equal to C. And we need to select that particular string which is greater than or equal to C. And next, divide the complete string as X, Y, Z. That means the three parts such that the length of Y should be greater than 0, length of X, Y should be less than or equal to C. And for every I value greater than or equal to 1, the string X, Y power I, Z should belong to L. So then only we can say that the language is regular. Now we'll take an example. We'll consider the, an example. So, so once again I'm saying this particular pumping lemma concept is used to prove that language is a not a regular. So contradiction, right? Now, so consider the language a power n, b power n, where n greater than or equal to 1. Okay is not a regular we need to prove that it is not a regular so we'll have i mean we'll be getting the questions like uh, the language will be given and we need to prove that this language is not a regular so we have to first consider the language as a regular so consider the language l so what are the possibilities so epsilon right and uh, c uh, oh, we can simply write it as zero right so if it is 1, it will be a, b. If it is 2, a square, b square. That means a, a, b, b. And if it is 3, a, 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 b, b, b. If it is 4, 4 a's followed by 4 b's and so on. That means number of a's followed by number of b's and the, uh, I mean, the equal number of a's and b's should be there. Equal number of a's, should, b's, a's and b's should be there, right? Now, we have considered this one. Next, assume the constant C and select the string W. So I will select the constant C as some 6. 6 as a constant. So I need to select one string from the language whose length is greater than or equal to 6. That means a minimum length must be 6. So I can consider the strings from here itself. Right? Now, I am just erasing this one. So I will consider the W as this one. A, A, A and followed by 3 B's. That means here the length is 6 which is greater than or equal to C. Right? Now, assume a constant C and select the W. So, I have selected this W. Now, after this step, what we have to do? We have to divide this as a X, Y, Z. You can consider any substring, any combination. Right? So, you can divide in any way. So I will take this one. So W is equal to A, 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 B, B, B. So among this one, I will consider these two as X, these two as Y, and these two as a Z. So this is not a fixed. You can also consider, so there are a lot of combinations. You can consider a lot of combinations, but all the three conditions should be true. So if you consider this one as X, and this one as y and this one as z. You can consider this one also, right? So you can consider any combination. You can consider any combination. So I will consider this one. Okay, I will consider this one. Now, x is a a, x is equal to a a, y is equal to a b, and z is equal to b b. And here you can observe mod y is equal to 2, which is greater than 0. Condition 2. So this condition is true, right? And next, x and y is equal to a, a and b, b. 
which is of length 4, which is less than or equal to 6 or a C. Simply we can say it as a C, right? So this is also true. Now we need to check the third one. For i is equal to 1, every string x, y power i, z belongs to L. Now you can see here the third one. The third one. So if i becomes 0, okay. So uh, we can simply consider 0. Okay, I greater than or equal to 0. So if i is 0, x, y power 0, z. That means x, z. Okay, x, z means a, a and b, b. So is it a possible string available in the language? Yes. Oh, this, this is true. Now i becomes 1. So x, y, z, which is nothing but a, b, sorry. A, A, B, B, B. So this is also available in this string. Yes. Now consider I is equal to 2. Then X, Y square, Z. X, Y square, Z. So here Y power 1, Z. Right? X, Y square, Z means X means A, A. Y means A, B, A, B. Z means B, B. Because this is X square. Right? So we need to write the Y term multiple times. Now you can observe A, 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 B, A, B, B, B. So here this is not available in our language because our language consists of the multiple number of A's followed by multiple number of B's and the number of A's and B's should be equal. So here also the number of A's and B's are equal but so the number of A's is not followed by B because see A, three A's are there followed by B again we are getting A again we are getting B. So this is completely wrong and this is this string is not available in this language and here you can observe after completion of yes then only you have to get the number of b's so but here after b again we are getting a so this is not a valid string okay it's not a valid string so if you consider this one so x is equal to a a y is equal to a b z is equal to b b we are we are getting that uh, the repetition of the string is not available in language but now you just change the pattern so x y z you change the x y z so let us take the this one as x this one as y and this one as z okay now you can observe here x is a and y is a a and z is b b and you can observe here y is equal to 2 that is greater than 0 x and y is a a a which is nothing but a 3 which is also less than or equal to c yes true now simply you can observe here so for x is equal to 0 x is z x z means a b b b x z a b b b according to this one right and simply you can say this string is not available in L, language L, right? So just remember we are taking the substring y and we are just recursively call that y such that the resultant string should be available in L. But here it is not available in L. So that again this is false. That means language is not regular. Now we can select one more pattern. We can select one more pattern. So simply you can select x as all a's, y as b and z as b b. So all a's are in x and y with a b single b and z is b b. Now you can see mod y is 1 which is greater than 0, true and x and y. So a, a, a and b. So which is nothing but 4 and less than or equal to c. c is 6 here, right? Now you can observe. If i is equal to 0, if i is equal to 0, so remember i greater than or equal to 0, not greater than or equal to 1, right? So i is equal to 0, x and z, x and z means a, a, a and followed by b, b. So here, b's are followed by a, but the number of a's and number of b's are not equal. So this is also not available in n. That means in all the cases, in all the cases, so the third rule that is for i greater than or equal to 0 every string x y power i z doesn't belongs to L. That means we can simply say this a power n 
and b power n is not a regular language is not a regular language is not a regular language right so this concept a pumping lemma concept is only meant for so uh, proving that the language is not a regular not regular right so we have to select the language first consider the language write down the language and consider it as a regular language select the constant c okay and select the string w where the length of the string should be greater than or equal to c and then divide the string into three sub strings x y and z which follows the different rules so mod y should be greater than 0 and mod xy should be less than or equal to c and for i greater than or equal to 0 the string x y power i z should belongs to l if all these constraints are uh, satisfied then only we can say that language is a regular if any point is violated automatically we can say that the language is not a regular language so we are proving that language is not regular by using this pumping lemma concept right so hope you understood this one so try with a more a number of examples and if you are having any doubt regarding this concept feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much